Hi, I'm Edward Adu, and you're watching FLP TV, and I'm joined by the very talented singer, dancer, and actress, Nicola Ward. How are you doing? Very good. Welcome to FLP you. TV. Thank you very much. Tell me more about yourself, how you got into the industry. Um, well, I started singing when I was about four. Um, little karaoke competition in America, first time in the family. Um, what do you sing? Um, I Should Be So Lucky. Okay. Kylie Minogue. Can you give us a little rendition? Back in the come 80s. on, you can do it. Come on, come on. Ten seconds. Give us a little rendition. Take <laughs> us back to when it. you did that back in the day. Oh god. Okay. Come on. We're putting um, on the spot now. Oh dear. Okay. I should be so lucky, 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 lucky. I should be so lucky in love. That was good. Thank you. Did you like the little click thing I was doing? That was there? good. I that was the good. It's very rhythmic, wasn't it? <laughs> very rhythmic. Now your first audition. Uh, for for all, your audition for the Brits, even yeah, um, what was it like? Was was it daunting? Were you scared? Was was were you literally sweating? Were you like had oh. your fingers crossed and saying to yourself, oh, "I don't want to do this"? Oh my god, yeah, Brit school. I mean, it was such a it was a big big thing at the time to go to Brit school. You know, so you were consistent. You wanted to stay. Uh, you wanted to get into into the, to the whole industry. You wanted to become mm -hmm. the next big pop star. So then, how did you, so how did yeah. you manage to sort of, you know? get to the top, climb those, uh, those, what's say, daunting steps. Mm. I mean, it's just going to every audition you possibly can. Like, you're looking through stage, you're looking at every opportunity that comes through your door and just turning up for them, getting as much experience as possible. And then you got the big scoop, um, doing, or say, uh, performing as Britney Spears. Tell me more oh, about that and the yeah. TV show. Britney Spears, oh, I think I was in college at the time. I was, I was at Brit school at the time. And Stars and Arrows is quite a big thing. And I thought, oh, who can I sound like? I don't sound anything like Britney Spears now, at all, anyway. So, you know, I was trying to sound like her and that's how I got on. I don't sound Did you like get to keep the, the red cat suit? I did, actually, yeah. <sighs> Amazing. I've worn it for Halloween a few times. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and then, and obviously, it, that more or less was the big door opener, where you appeared on other shows. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, also, at the time, there was pop idol, there was pop stars, and all these new TV, reality TV shows that had come out. So how did you feel being sort of put the first generation of reality TV stars? Yeah, I mean, it was great. Looking back on it now, you see how much of a big deal it was back then. And I think a lot of the people from, you know, your pop idols, your pop stars, they've all managed to stay within the industry and go and branch out to different areas. And I think, you know, at that time it was really important to like get your name out, get your face out because a lot of the times now with X Factor, etc. and everything else, you have to either win it or make a name for yourself in order to stick around. But do you think that's killed the industry in terms of record labels going out there to ban, to, 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 to gigs and, and watching live talent? Do you think record labels literally sit back now and say, listen, let Simon Cowell do the work, let him go and find the next big thing? Yeah, I mean, it, there is also a shelf life for all this sort of thing. And depending on what kind of industry it is, um, mainly the music industry, it's very fickle. And, you know, you're top dog one day and then, you know, you're old news the next day and it's as fickle as that. After Pop Stars, where did you go next? Um, after Pop Stars, I ended up auditioning for other bands, groups, that sort of thing. And eventually um, I found this one group called Cookie and auditioned for it as a girl group, four-piece girl group, um, and got welcomed into the group within a couple of weeks. Uh, we started, we did a photo shoot, uh, then we did a video shoot, and then eventually, after a few months of promoting, we toured with Girls Aloud in their UK tour. And where did Cookie go from there? Um, Cookie sort of went its separate ways after a while, you know, like a lot of these groups do. Um, we we're all back out auditioning again and um, eventually I got into another group which was called Kush uh, and that was a duo, a guy and a girl, myself and another guy who was the rapper and I was the singer. We did three music videos on two separate trips, uh, we released a single, we got to number 29 in the charts, it's not bad. in the download charts which was quite good. I mean, it was a great experience, you know, going to LA and performing and, and doing a music video was a huge deal to me. Loved it. 
and um, the music was great, it was very urban pop. Um, it was a dance project, uh, the artist, well my name was Bo Peep. And Why it Bo was, Peep? Um, I, they said to me come up with something you know that's kind of quirky, something new and I thought you know what else is there, you know I had little boots, you had loads of random names, peaches and all this sort of thing. So I just thought Bo Peep, it stuck, my friend actually came up with it. And um, what yeah. Does it, what does it mean? Is it anything significant? Well, it was kind of a little bit tongue in cheek as well, Bo Peep, you know. It was kind of cheeky in a way, I suppose, if you wanted to see it that way. But it was kind of nursery rhyme appeal to the kids as well. So the exciting journey continues. So you went from Kush to yeah. a super group. Yeah, I mean, there was um, an audition last year for a TV show called Don't Stop Believing. And it was on Channel 5. They were looking for members for this super group that Channel 5 were putting together, their own group. And the show is a lot to do with the artists and um, groups and choirs, etc., to win at the end of the competition. But with the super group, they were looking for five original people to start their group. Each week, there was five people added to total an, a, a number of, I think it's 30 people in the group at the end. There's no harm in trying to pursue other avenues of like West End musical theatre shows, anything like that. You know, if, if you still feel like you're good for it, then, you know, and that's something else you might want to turn your attention to. That's that's what I've done. By meeting those other people and by being involved in a show like that, it opened up my eyes to other areas and have a grasp on everything. And I think that's my choice anyway, and that's how I've found myself where I am now with FLP. And um, from Don't Stop Believing, I had uh, a lot of advice from the people that were in the show, all had agents. And um, one of my friends from Dice, I believe, and put me in contact with Formula Life Productions. And I contacted them, called me in, and then I started um, auditioning um, for various different shows and productions. And, and that's where I am now. Now, to anyone watching this, what advice would you give to any aspiring talent keen on sort of being the next Nicola Ward? Just got to stay positive. You know, you need to weed like all those people that are negative in your life and stay true to what you want to do because it's so easy to be distracted by friends and family and guys and girlfriends etc that you know in a few years time they may not you know be around they may not still be your friend they may not still be your boyfriend I think it's really important just to stay focused on what you want to do and don't let anyone else take over. Nicola Ward it's been a pleasure thank and you wish much. you the best for the future thank, thank you. you very much for uh, appearing on FLP TV. No problem thank you for having me. Thank you. Without further ado, I've been Edward Adu. You've been watching FLP TV, the only place where you can get discovered.